Since the 6th of April 2013, employers are now required to report their payroll information to HMRC in real time. Each time you pay your employees, you are required to submit a full payment submission to HMRC. An FPS is to be sent on or before each payday to avoid HMRC penalties and informs HMRC about the payments and deductions for each employee. BrightPay will automatically create an FPS each time you finalise one or more pay slips. To submit an FPS to HMRC, first finalise your pay slips within payroll for the pay period in question. An FPS will be automatically created within the RTI utility, ready for submission to HMRC. Next, click the RTI tab heading and select the FPS from the listing. The contents of the FPS will be displayed on screen. The FPS can be printed or exported at any time before or after its submission to HMRC by clicking Print or Export. When ready to submit the FPS to HMRC, click Send Now. Confirmation details will subsequently appear on screen to indicate that your submission has been accepted by HMRC. Should your submission fail, simply click on Details for more information on why your submission has been rejected by HMRC and amend your payroll where required. Going forward, each time you pay your employees, you will send a full payment submission to HMRC in the same manner. Occasionally, an additional FPS may be required, for example, where amendments to employees' payslips are needed after the corresponding FPS has been submitted. An additional FPS notifies HMRC of the current year-to-date figures for one or more employees and can be submitted to HMRC up until the 19th of April of the following tax year. Where employee payslips are reopened and subsequently reprocessed, if the employee's pay date matches the pay date that was included on the original FPS, an amended FPS will not be created on refinalizing. Instead, an additional FPS can subsequently be created and submitted to HMRC to report the change. There are certain situations when an employer payment summary must be created and submitted to HMRC. These situations all focus around claiming refunds and recoverable amounts from HMRC or making declarations to HMRC. An EPS is to be submitted in the following circumstances. If no payments to employees are made within the current or past pay period and where no FPS submission has been or is being submitted, to declare a future period of inactivity, to recover statutory payments, to recover construction industry scheme deductions suffered, to claim the employment allowance, and to indicate your final submission for year. If you would like to recover statutory payments or CIS deductions suffered at the end of a tax month or quarter, first choose the HMRC Payments menu and complete the relevant monthly quarterly payment schedule for the relevant period for which there are recoverable amounts. To send an EPS to HMRC using BrightPay, simply select RTI on the menu bar. Click New on the menu toolbar and select Employer Payment Summary. If there are recoverable amounts due, as per the HMRC payment schedule, then this will automatically be indicated on the APS for you. Simply select the correct tax period from the drop-down listing. Such an EPS will inform HMRC of the reductions you are entitled to make to the totals already submitted on your full payment submissions. If there is a future period of inactivity for which there will be no FPSs submitted, that is, there will be no pay slips for the period in question, then this must be indicated using the period of inactivity indicator on the EPS. Likewise, if there has been no pay process for all employees in the current tax period or earlier tax periods and no FPSs are due to be submitted, then this must be indicated using the no payment for period indicator. When ready to submit the EPS to HMRC, click send now. Confirmation details will subsequently appear on screen to indicate that your submission has been accepted by HMRC. At the end of the tax year, a final employer payment summary submission will be required in addition to your final FPS for the year. 
Within the RTI utility, simply indicate on the EPS that this is to be the final submission of the year. Submit your EPS in the normal manner by clicking Send Now. When required, a National Insurance Number Verification request can be submitted through the RTI utility in BrightPay to HMRC in order to verify or obtain a National Insurance Number for new employees. Once submitted, HMR's response can be viewed through your POAE online utility, which will tell you if the number is right or wrong, or will provide a number if you haven't got one. After the 19th of April 2015, if you discover an error in any of the year-to-date totals submitted in your final FPS for tax year 1415 and make a correction, then only an earlier year update can be submitted. An EYU simply reports the amendments made to an employee's pay as opposed to restated year-to-date totals. To send an EYU to HMRC using BrightPay, simply select RTI on the menu bar. Click New on the menu toolbar and select Earlier Year Update. When ready to submit the EYU to HMRC, click Send Now. Confirmation details will subsequently appear on screen to indicate that your submission has been accepted by HMRC.